Hello everybody and welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm. The moment we have all been waiting for is finally here and that is the fantastic price for wool. So I think actually it's around £9,000 per 1,000 litres which is insanely good. Uh, so we're going to make the most of this very very good price and we're going to sell everything we have including anything which may be still in the trigger, the spawn point for the, uh, the wool. It looks like there's a tiny bit but we'll definitely take it along with us as every bit we can get at this very good price will be worth it. So if I just show you here, we can see the price. It is, I think it's around 9,000. Um, yes, 9,009. And that price isn't moving up or down currently, but I should think it will start to go down very soon. Okay, so yeah, we'll just jump out of here. And we'll also close the door. Oh, there we go. Good, I'll lower the mowers later, hopefully, if I remember. So, <laughs> let's jump into the 240, and we'll... Oh, didn't mean to do that. We'll uh, keep the pallet fork on. We'll pick it up. It looks like it's roughly 50%. It could be, I suppose, anywhere between 25% and 50%. I suppose between 25% uh, and 70%, maybe. 49%. Well, that's still very good. That's still almost a 1,000 litres, meaning that's almost 9,000 pounds. Just what we have here. So I'll probably pull the tractor and trailer out of the shed first of all, just to make it a bit easier, as it is very tight in here. And then, um, yeah, we'll take it over to the sell point as quickly as we can do before the price starts to change. I don't think it's going to change that fast as we're in real time currently. This is just to guarantee the price. If we were playing at times 15, there would be potential for actually getting the worst price because it, it obviously the time is progressing. The demand will be reducing. Therefore, the price is reducing. Just got to reverse out of here. This is quite a good job for the uh, the Ford. It's not a very fast tractor, as I said before. In fact, the Unimog is probably the best tractor for doing road work. In the future, we will do. Uh, to be fair, actually, I don't know exactly where the wolf cell point is. I think I did check once, uh, but it's, yeah, escaped my mind. Let's just see. Okay, spinnery I'm looking for. Yeah, it's basically just here. Just above film 26, so it's in our area anyway. That's where we go fairly often. Uh, we'll go the back way over the bumpy farm track. But luckily, everything is strapped on, and there should be no issues at all. So there we go. And yeah, I'll lower the mowers before I forget. Although we probably don't have to. Just takes a bit of weight off the tractor. 17 degrees. Pretty good. Nice weather. And yeah, having said that, over in England now, the weather is fantastic. I hope it lasts, but I think it's going to be fairly short-lived. If you're still stuck in that horrible, dreary winter weather, then hopefully the, the more decent weather comes for you soon. If you like decent weather. Some people don't actually like it because it's too hot for them. Maybe they prefer the snow. Uh, but as I mentioned many times before, yeah, I'm one for the summer, definitely. Okay, so we're going to pants here. That will do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that would have been better if it went all the way. There we go. Good. So, yeah, let's take the Ford. And let's make a small fortune. Let's hope we do. It really will be very good. Cause there's no reason why it shouldn't be. We have got, I think it's about 4,000 litres, possibly... Per pallet, or is it? Oh no, no, sorry, it must be 2,000 because uh, it was almost a thousand uh, liters at 50%. So, yeah, 2,000 liters per pallet. So, we're looking at realistically here, we're looking at around 18,000 pounds for each pallet here, which is full, which obviously is really good, very, very decent. So, I'm um, very slowly racing over there in our very nice Ford. Oh, crikey, I think I'll just slow down a bit. We may be in a rush, but we can't damage the tractor. I suppose it would have looked much more impressive if I had stacked the pallets a bit neater, but I guess that's all part of me rushing to get this done very quickly, which we are doing. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to pay off despite the not-so-good-looking loading. Cold stream. 
I guess that's the place name. So here we are. I think this is the correct yard. I've not been here before. It's telling us all the different things that can be brought to here. Wool is one of them, so that's very good. I've uh, got a uh, weighbridge here. 12.3 tons. And I think we're going to the right. That's where the wool pallet seems to be on the forklift. So I don't know how quickly it's going to start to sell when we start to go through here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so it's selling in... Um, well, it should sell it all together, actually. I think I went in the trigger and then came out of it. So it's 7,500 pretty much on top of whatever we get in a second. Kind of messed up there. But still, it's all money which we're going to be able to keep. So far, very impressed. We still have loads on the trailer. And the price is going fairly quickly. If I can just really quickly go into here, we can see the price is still 9,009 per 1,000 litres. Almost done. I suppose there's the equivalent of one full pallet left. And we're about there. £94,798. And yeah, obviously we had the 7.5 on top, so above £100,000, more than £100,000 uh, from the wool this spring. That is pretty good. Now the wool production is actually going to uh, slow down and stop as it is a seasonal thing. We don't get it all year round. Uh, after all, the sheep do need to grow their, their coat for the winter again. Is there a shortcut here? Mm, no, not really. So yeah, that is it for this in-game day. We're now going to go to bed. We'll put this away first, obviously. And then tomorrow we'll bring new challenges, probably fertilising and spraying and that kind of stuff. Uh, all the stuff that we have to do to keep everything really productive and healthy. Hell climb. Oh yes, the mighty TW35. Doing it with ease. And I think just for the time being we'll put it back in the hayloft as it's going to keep everything dry and it just, well, keeps everything in one place too. I know where the bale trailer is and I think this tractor is actually going to be uh, now kept as the bale carting tractor. It does seem to be very good at it. But anyway, yes, there we go. So we need to get out of here. Uh, I have to turn the lights off. There we go. There's our house. We need to run into the house. Or we could walk into the house, I suppose, and then we'll go to bed. Whoosh, we're very athletic. Right, here we go. Open the front door. And we'll close it behind us too. There we go. And our bedroom is somewhere. Okay, I can't find the bedroom. We'll just sleep here. Good night. We awake to some sold milk of £2,284 and some expenses. The animal upkeep was very expensive. Um, yeah, I think the expenses have outweighed the income there. Yes, they have done. Uh, but overall, it's still fairly good. The milk prices do seem to vary. Um, it's not going to be that good anyway, as the cows don't have the power food and uh, the straw and all the different things they really should have. So today's job is to get into the fertilizer spreader tractor first of all. And we have many places that we need to go to. Many do need to be fertilised. In fact, it could potentially be everything. Uh, I think it is, actually. Everything except for 53, 54, and 93. So we'll do 91, 92, and 62 today. And then in the next episode, we'll do those five, I think. Yeah, we should be able to do all them in one episode. So yeah, 91, 92, and 62. We're going to stay local today. Keep it easy. And yeah, this won't take too long at all. They might look big on the mini-map, but really... They're nothing, especially for this uh, spreader. It's a very big spreader. It can get the work done with ease.
Okay, so there we go. So we're over halfway now. We've got six fields done and we've got five left to do. So things are looking pretty good. It's only late spring. We still have nine days of summer left before we have to uh, pack in the fertilizing. So that's brilliant. That's really, really good. So I would continue the fertilizing today, but obviously it's a fairly repetitive task. It's something which does have to be done, but I've been doing it quite a bit recently. So we'll probably uh, hold off on that until the next episode now. We'll do something else, something which does need to be done. Um, I'm wondering actually if there is some contracting, because we could make some money that way. That is something that could be done. <laughs> we could, uh, yeah, just sort of diversify the jobs a bit. But we'll leave that there. Now what I'm going to do now is jump into the Unimog, because what I'd like to do is go on a field hunt. I would like to go and buy a field. I do have one in mind, which I think has a crop in it. So it would basically be uh, buying a field which is going to be harvested this year. If I'm not mistaken, field 65 is the one which is uh, growing, I think it's wheat. Nope, it's not wheat, but it is canola. So if that is sort of growing, let's just see. It is, then that is the one for us. Hopefully, it's at a good price, we'll have to go and see. Um, but it's not too hard to get to, in fact it's very easy to get to. And it would mean that we are spreading out our fields a bit, so we're not going to be always working in the same place in every episode, which is going to be very nice. It's not a very big field, um, but we can't really afford the massive fields at this stage. I would love to buy a bigger field later. And although, yeah, we do have £721,000, as I'm sure many of you will know, even the smaller fields are still quite expensive. I don't know if they're cheaper on this map or not. Certainly on Goldcrest Valley, the, the fields are very, very expensive. In fact, this is a good example just here. Let's just see. So we can do contracting as well, actually. We might do some of that. But yeah, this is a £200,000 field. And it is what? How big? It's only 61 here. So, for example, if we were to go to field 75, 69, 11, I'm thinking it's going to be in the region of £600,000 to £700,000, which would then mean that that's most of our money gone. So, yeah, we, we have a lot of money, but not enough to be throwing around with fields too much. We can get a smaller field, which is exactly my intention. Okay. This is field 65. Looking good. It's going to have to be fertilized as well. Oh, in fact, we can get paid for it. Even better. So that is exactly what we'll do. We'll get all this fitted onto here, and we will fertilize the crop before we buy it, which saves us a massive job and an expense. Well, I say a massive job, it's like a three minute job, but still. It's an expense, all the same. And we get to use somebody else's tractor. Taking the wear and tear off ours. The Unimog is causing chaos, but oh well. It doesn't really matter. I've not actually done any spraying yet, so it's a bit different for us. Chances are you have done a lot of spraying before, but I think this is a first for this series. Um, mainly because we've got the slurry for the cultivated land or the ploughed land, and we've got the uh, the pellets of fertiliser for the growing fields, although we should be spraying pesticides and herbicides as well. Yeah, I really should be. I'd love to have a self-propelled sprayer. But these fields just don't really justify it. They're just not big enough. The one self-propelled sprayer, which I've wanted to have for a very long time, is the Matty Ferguson one. Uh, the main reason for this is basically because, well, I haven't used it before properly. But also, it's something which, to me, is really good looking. And I think it would fit into pretty much any map really well, providing you have the right size fields, which we don't. Um, but yeah, it would be... It would be very, very good to have. I probably should be going around the headland first. It's just such a small field, it doesn't really seem to matter. <laughs> We're causing chaos. If that was the real world, they would just drive around it. They wouldn't just queue up. Right. So not only do we get the field cheaper anyway, but this is going to give us some money. We actually get paid for doing this job. And we're using somebody else's machine. Amazing. 
Although I did dither about a bit, so we're not going to get the maximum amount of money. The time bonus. But let me know if you think we should buy another field after this one. Because we do, like I said, we do have the money, it's just I'm trying to be very, very careful with the money. Any second, it's going to be completed. And we only got a grand total of three cars queuing up behind the Unimog, or in front of the Unimog. After this, I don't think there's going to be another job to do, so we'll buy the field. But at least we get, for this, £893. Not bad. Okay. So it's £57,845. It's not cheap. Um, but land isn't cheap. So there we go. We have more land. And really, uh, we got almost twice that from the wool. So really, only half of that trailer of wool which we took has paid for this field. Pretty much. Not fully. But I think that is still really good. The funny thing is, I don't think... I'm, I, I can be corrected here. Please do correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think wool is worth that much in real life. But in Farming Simulator, it's worth an absolute fortune. Probably the most expensive, uh, well, crop that there is. The most expensive product. So that field's done. 62 is done. And, yeah, that one's done over there too. 91. So it's looking good. And, yeah, the field which bought is done too. Definitely the advisable thing to do. Always fertilise prior to purchasing if the map is set up for contracting. But yeah, I think we're pretty much there for today. I should have the time at times 5 at least, sometimes times 15. Um, but yeah, looking fairly good. So if you've got any suggestions for what we should do in the next episode, please do let me know. Because I would love to do some different stuff as well as just fertilise spreading. We can't keep doing the same thing. But yeah, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. And until the next one, see you again very soon. Bye for now.